Our entire universe is one big chaotic sea of ripples in space-time, otherwise known as gravitational waves. Astronomers and scientists have long believed these waves to originate from orbiting pairs of supermassive black holes in distant galaxies, and have been desperately trying to observe them for decades now. Now, they might be one step closer, and all thanks to a special team of international scientists and a little help from NASA. Welcome to Factnominal, and in today's video, we will take a look at how NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Telescope could play a key factor in the hunt for gravitational waves and ripples in space-time. At the heart of most galaxies in space, you will find a supermassive black hole. Different galaxies are all drawn to each other by the immense gravitation, causing them to eventually merge and form a whole new center. During this process, the black holes sink and coalesce, thus creating long gravitational waves that stretch out to hundreds of trillions of kilometers between wave crests. This is constantly taking place in the universe and has been ever since the Big Bang, filling space with a whole sea of low-frequency space-time ripples. Albert Einstein himself envisioned the universe as something of a wave pool, one that you'd probably see at a water park. But in actuality, these waves could bend and warp space-time. Take planet Earth, for example, which is a relatively smaller-sized planet whose gravity is able to retain an object of average size like the Moon. But then consider ginormous structures like black holes which are massive, all-consuming and are common enough to produce a series of gravitational imprints throughout space-time causing a sort of rippling effect. Einstein theorized that putting all these strong gravitational impressions together would create a series of ripples that echo throughout the universe. Now, scientists and researchers might be a few steps closer in actually proving Einstein right. New studies have shown the first possible hints of a mysterious new kind of gravitational wave, a cosmic ripple that warps the fabric of space and time itself, just like Einstein had theorized all those years ago. The first ever direct detection of gravitational waves was in 2016, with the help of the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, a discovery which earned the Nobel Prize just the following year. The researchers using LIGO were able to see the space-time distortions that were created when two black holes collided about 130 million light-years from Earth. Since then, LIGO has been actively used as a way to observe such distortions and signals with the hope that they would be able to unravel some of the ancient cosmic secrets. This, however, is no easy feat. Researchers have often described detecting gravitational waves as background noise while trying to actively listen to small talk at a crowded party. Primordial gravitational waves produced nearly 13.8 billion years ago still echo throughout the universe even today. But unfortunately, they seem to be drowned out by so many of the other noises produced in space, like colliding black holes, neutron stars, and more. Singling out the noises they actually need to hear is rather difficult. Astronomers have also been searching for gravitational waves using large radio telescopes to look for any subtle effect these space-time ripples might have on the radio waves being emitted from pulsars within our galaxy. There have been several challenges along the way with these methods. Now, a new international team of scientists have shown that high-energy light collected by NASA's Fermi Gamma-ray Space Telescope can also be used in the search. The team, including Adithya Parthasarathi and Michael Kramer from the Max Planck Institute of Radio Astronomy in Bonn, Germany, published their study in the Science Journal on April 7, 2022. NASA's Fermi Gamma-ray Space Telescope is currently in low Earth orbit, studying the most powerful source of radiation in the universe, gamma rays. Unlike the previous methods that were being used to collect data and analyze the gravitational wave background in space, gamma rays might just be a better way of going about things. As we know, light energy comes in different forms and human beings are only able to see a small portion of the different types of lights. Visible light, the light which we can see, has medium-length waves. Microwaves and infrared light waves are comparatively longer than visible light waves, and radio waves have the longest wavelengths. On the other hand, gamma rays and X-rays have the shortest wavelengths, even shorter than visible light. But the good thing about that is the shorter wavelengths have much more energy. The high energy is harmful to people on Earth. But since we are protected by the Earth's atmosphere, scientists send out satellites in space to study these gamma rays. 
Gamma rays come from some of the most extreme places in the universe like exploding stars and the mysterious black holes. Studying these gamma rays emitted from objects like black holes or pulsars could give us the answers we need about the ripples in space-time. This is where NASA's Fermi comes in. NASA launched its $690 million Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, formerly known as the Gamma Ray Large Area Space Telescope, a space observatory being used to perform gamma ray observations from low Earth orbit on the 11th of June 2008. The spacecraft was named after Italian-American physicist and Nobel laureate Enrico Fermi, who was the first to suggest that cosmic rays may come from supernovas or violent star explosions back in 1949. By peering at the cosmos from low Earth orbit, it has been able to detect the most powerful gamma ray bursts that astronomers have ever seen, and even the mysterious gamma ray bubbles around the Milky Way. The Fermi telescope has two main instruments, a large telescope that finds gamma rays with 10 million to even more than 300 billion times the energy of visible light, and detectors that observe gamma ray bursts. It has been collecting data on various mysterious gamma ray bursts and discovering new pulsars, the dense remnants of massive stars. Pulsars rotate with extreme regularity and astronomers are able to tell exactly when to expect each new pulse. The sea of gravitational waves, however, alters when the pulses arrive on Earth. Taking advantage of this, a precise monitoring of many pulsars across the sky could reveal the presence of the gravitational waves, which are otherwise so much harder to detect. Matthew Kerr, research physicist at the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory in Washington said, Fermi studies the universe in gamma rays, the most energetic form of light. We've been surprised at how good it is at finding the types of pulsars we need to look for these gravitational waves, over 100 so far. The team put together data collected over 10 years by the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope and their analysis shows that it could actually be quite feasible to detect these waves with probably a couple years more of additional observations. That may not sound like much, but in the study of space, that's huge. Pulsars were originally discovered using radio telescopes and pulsar timing array experiments with radio telescopes for nearly two decades now. Space is mostly empty. But even in the vast distance between a pulsar and Earth, radio waves would still encounter many electrons, which could alter the time of their arrival and interstellar electrons bend the radio waves. Gamma rays, on the other hand, aren't affected quite as much in this manner and are proving to be an excellent complementary method of pulsar timing. Co-author of the study, Partha Sarathi said, the Fermi results are already 30% as good as the radio pulsar timing arrays when it comes to potentially detecting the gravitational wave background. With another five years of pulsar data collection and analysis, it will be equally capable with the added bonus of not having to worry about all those stray electrons. Within the next decade or so, radio and gamma ray astronomers both expect to reach sensitivity that would then allow them to pick up gravitational waves from pulsars and orbiting pairs of monster black holes. Though no waves have been detected thus far, analysis has shown with observations these waves will be well within Fermi's reach. As of now, the team is focusing their efforts on discovering new pulsars and collecting the data they require for future analysis of the gravitational wave background. This new method using pulsars and black holes to detect the waves, if successful, would absolutely go down in history as one of the great modern day discoveries. A gamma ray pulsar timing array was not envisioned before the launch of Fermi and could change the face of gravitational wave astrophysics forever. Making use of the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope is good news for both further findings and it will be even more useful when used in conjunction with radio experiments. Do you think scientists can trace gravitational waves with the help of NASA's Fermi? let us know in the comments. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.